How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to talk about iOS 15.6, which just released today, just a few hours ago. So here on my iPhone 13 mini, I have iOS 15.6 queued up, ready to download. So should you install 15.6? Well, yes, first and foremost, because it has bug fixes and security updates, which are always super important. And while iOS 15.6 doesn't have a ton of cool user facing features, there are some things that you definitely want to consider. So here is my iPhone 13 and on it, I am running the iOS 15.6 release candidate two. And that came out on July 15th. But the thing is, they're both the same. The public version and RC2 are both the same with the same build number 19G71. So if you're already running RC2, then that means you already have the latest version of iOS 15.6 running on your iPhone as I do right here. Now, let's talk about one of the things that stands out about this release, the Apple Music dock bug fix. What is that you may be asking? Well, on previous versions of iOS, if you uninstalled the music app and you replaced it with something like Spotify in your dock, and then you reinstalled the music app, it would actually replace Spotify and put the music app back in its default location. So I just uninstalled the music app. Let me show you what happened here. So I'm gonna drag Spotify down to the dock because you know, I prefer Spotify over Apple Music. So here it is looking nice in the dock, but guess what happens when I reinstall Apple Music? So say I needed to reinstall Apple Music for some reason. I go to the app store, I tap the download button and what, what? So yeah, the music app will kick to the curb any app in that position doesn't have to be Spotify necessarily, but it puts itself back in the default location in your dock. Now, this is nothing malicious on Apple's part. They assure users of that. Uh, in fact, this actually will occur with other applications. They will go back to their default location around iOS as well. But the point is, this is a bug, nothing malicious, nothing that Apple's trying to force you to go back to Apple Music or anything crazy like that, right? So with that being said, we know it's a bug. This is iOS 15.6, and I'm going to uninstall the music app here. Delete, delete, and I'm going to keep my subscription because honestly, I am an Apple Music user. But for this demo here, I have Spotify looking real nice down in the dock. So what will happen this time on iOS 15.6 when I reinstall Apple Music? Previously, it kicked the Spotify app out, but here, now that Apple has fixed this bug, you can see Apple Music's reinstalling, Spotify is just chilling, still there in the dock, and everything's all good. So ladies and gentlemen, have you experienced that bug before? I don't think a ton of people have, but let me know down below in the comment section what you think. And in addition to the iPhone update, you also get an iPad update. So iPad OS 15.6 is now available as well. And it too includes enhancements, bug fixes, and security updates. So I do recommend you update. And the HomePod gets some love as well. Here is my OG HomePod. Man, I miss these guys. And here it is running 15.5.1. But now you can see it's already downloading the update there. So you can see that on the Home app. So now if you go into the home settings, there you go. You see the software version 15.6, and this is actually a nice update. Siri voice recognition for Mandarin Chinese, Cantonese, and Japanese as well. Now let's briefly discuss some of the fixes found in iOS 15.6. Of course you have security updates, but it also fixes an issue where settings may continue to display that device storage is full even if device storage is available. So that is a nice fix for sure. The TV app adds an option to restart a live sports game already in progress and pause, rewind, or fast forward. Now, I wasn't able to test this out, but I assume it'll work with Friday Night Baseball. It'll also fix an issue that may cause Braille devices to slow down or stop responding when navigating text within the Mail app. And finally, it fixes an issue in Safari where a tab may revert to a previous page. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at iOS 15.6 now available. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And if you appreciated this video, be sure to check out these other videos that you might enjoy. This is Jeff with Cellular.